People always want to know, how do kids become committed to civic engagement? How do we get that motivation yeah. to take responsibility for our civic life? And I think part of the answer is family, and I came from a family with deep traditions of civic engagement. The important question is not what the particular text is, but what is the thought that goes into working with the text? And what does one get out of the text? Both found after spending a great, great deal of time pouring over the Declaration of Independence, an inner core, entirely independently of one another, of moral equality as the discriminating concept that makes sense and integrates the entire document. It's clear that there have always been moral choices in front of people, and even in the 18th century, it was possible to choose abolition, not enslavement. And that we need to say clearly as much as anything else. This country has always had two voices, at least two. It's always had a multitude of contesting voices fighting, but that voice of liberty and equality has been there from the beginning. Because the affirmation of the good and the right is more important to repeat than the evidence of the evil. It's been quite enough time and quite enough accomplished since the Declaration of Independence to have established the reality of the United States and the principles upon which it's founded. Freedom and equality are what we humans can build with, principles we can build with, to make a world that gives us the chance of bringing out the best in all of us. We have, in fact, the burden of knowing that if it does fail, it won't fail because the experiment failed, but because we failed. I want to counsel all of us to take patriotism seriously, to take love of country seriously, but not to turn it into a divine principle. It's from the relationships first that we'll have the chance of rebuilding our capacity to do things together.